When you set out at the start of the year, it's not an aim, it's not even, it's I suppose a dream somewhere in the back of the mind, but the aim was to be competitive in Kilkenny and we went on and we scraped through a few games, we managed to win that and then on to Leinster and we would have had a tough semi-final against Ballygonner, but here we are, you know, Paddy's Day, Club all Ireland final, it means everything to the people in Ballyhale and you try to enjoy it with a mixture of nerves coming up because it is an all Ireland final, but there's a job to do on Paddy's Day, so hopefully we can get over the line. I'd say it's probably excitement more than nerves at this stage, it's a great feeling to be able to, to run out onto onto Crow Park again, it's a fantastic surface and fantastic atmosphere and it's a massive opportunity to be back again. People keep asking about 2013 but I suppose that's in the past now. It's huge for the parish, huge for our club, I suppose we're a small enough rural club so to be here and to be my chance of winning, a, winning an All-Ireland is a fantastic opportunity. My cousin Keen Kelly is actually a member of St Thomas's panel as well so it's, I've always heard their results you know through either looking them up or my aunt would say oh listen this is how they got on the weekend so like they've won two of the last three Galway senior hurling titles and got pipped by a point I think the other year before so they've been proven in, in championship games they're ultimately seriously competitive and but Galway teams are always seriously competitive they probably have the edge in the Mount Club titles they've won over to any team so and they've I think eight or nine, nine, nine or ten players that played in the last club learn we don't have as many so they'll be drawn on that experience so listen we hope that we can bring a small bit of our experience and try and match them on the day but Listen, they're two high quality teams we'd like to think going into a club for Ireland final, so you have to be ready to fight tooth and nail to try to get over the line. Their team has massive tradition in the club championship, so um, we know that they have, they have they'll have that self belief and that confidence that um, the club has done it before. And I suppose the current team, it's it's a, it's a mix of experience and youth, and I suppose they're a star of the team. There's some some, had some fantastic younger hurlers there, the likes of Owen Cody and Adrian Mullen there, they're, they're flying. We've done our homework on Ballyhale now and I suppose we'll set out what we have to do and how we're going to try and attack them. And look, we've some great hurlers on the team, we've fantastic leaders there as well. And We're strong, we're a physical team, but we've, we've fantastic skillful hurlers as well. I suppose when we're moving, we've great movement off the ball, things like that. So um, I think those are all our strengths, those are all positive things we bring. We would have got tested a good bit throughout the whole championship, you know, but I suppose... We've kept hurling as, as best we can, you know, we've never given up on anything, so, which is what you try to do. I suppose every team goes out to work hard. We're no different, we try to work hard, but we try to play to our strengths and listen to what our coaches and Henry is saying to us and try to bring that onto the hurling field. But ultimately it's a game of hurling, you have to go out and do it on the field and it's easy to talk about it, but going out and do it can be a bit more difficult at times. <laughs>